Hello everyone, my name is Ike Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a lighting system called Luxart into your guys' 5M server for free and updated into 2023. Now those of you guys who are familiar with ELS, this is basically the same thing but more compatible with 5M. Since ELS, there is actually an ELS on 5M sort of that will work with normal ELS cars but it's really broken and it's really buggy and I definitely don't recommend using it. So you kind of have to substitute and use LVC but it is really good and actually better than your standard ELS. And also you can just use any non-ELS vehicle. So it's just that much easier. But the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do is hit the first link down in the description below. And that will bring you guys right here. What you guys wanna do is head down to the bottom where it says assets, download the second one down, this one right here. And then open the zip file on up. I have had a few issues with people not understanding that with most mods you need a unzipper like WinRAR or 7-zip. So if you guys don't have that and it does just install, it's maybe like a blank file or it doesn't let you open it, you need to make sure you install one of those first. That is essential to modding. So make sure you guys get an unzipper. If I do remember, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. But the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do, put this to the side quickly, go to your desktop and find your guys' 5M server directory. Now, if you guys installed it the same way that I did, it's gonna be in your documents folder. Mine is called YT server. Then go into TX data, CFX default, resources. And now we're going to right click, new folder. And then we're gonna put a bracket. We're gonna call it Lux. We're gonna call it Lux just for the sake of the video. And this is so we know that anything we put in here is going to be with our Lux vehicle control mod. So what you guys are gonna to to do from here is pretty simply grab this LVC folder and drag and drop it in. Copy this folder name, go back to CFX folder, open up your server.cfg, head down to your resources list, and then we're going to do two hashtags to find the hashtag key, and then we're gonna call it car scripts. So this is where we're going to put any car script. So that could be a fuel mod, that could also be LVC, that could be a display mod for your speed or your location whilst you're in a car. We're gonna make sure we group them so we know exactly where all of our scripts are, and especially important in our server.cfg, just in case we wanna quickly uninsure them without having to delete the mod. But then you guys wanna type in sure, and then paste in the mod name. We copy and paste it because even capital letters can stop it from working. And once you guys have done that, hit close, save, then go back to your resources, go back into your Lux folder. If you have a look in here, you should be able to see there is a plugins folder, pretty similar to GTA 5 and LSPDFR. Now, if you go inside your mods and you go inside the plugins, there are actually plugins that come with this mod, such as trailer support, traffic advisors, takedowns, remote, so you can toggle your sirens remotely, and a bunch of extra integrations, integrations, integrations into your guys' mod. So all you guys are gonna to wanna to do to install this is actually just drag and drop these folders into the plugins folder. And then if you guys look in your settings, you should be able to find somewhere along here that you can enable plugins. All you guys wanna do is change it from false to true. And the last thing we have to do is change our community ID, otherwise it will not work. So basically this allows every single server to have a unique community ID so the mod knows what server to save settings to. So literally just call it whatever you guys want. He says here, he recommends something short, four to six characters. So I'm just gonna call it HT and then NYT. I don't know what for, HT Network YT. And if you guys didn't know what HT Network is, that is my 5PD 5M server that is public for you guys to join now. So check that out down in the description below if you guys wanna hop on a 5M server with me. Now that little plugin is over, we can now close our settings. And after that, there is one more thing to do. All you guys are gonna do is go back to your downloads file. And if you guys see this dependencies file, double click in here, you guys might already have this, you might not, but we are going to install the Rage UI mod. So that's gonna go in the exact same place. We're gonna put it in our Lux controls. You could not put it in here if you want to, since technically this will work with other mods as well. But just for the sake of this video, since we are installing it in the same tutorial, I'm gonna put it in the Lux subfolder we just made. And we're gonna do the exact same step. Control C, go back to our server.cfg. And then we're not gonna put this under our car scripts. This isn't technically a car script, but we will put it just under our normal base scripts because this is technically a base plugin. So you guys can run a bunch of other plugins. 
And now we can go back and actually start up our server. Once you guys are in game, all you guys are going to want to do is spawn yourself in a police vehicle, any police vehicle. It really doesn't matter. So spawn yourself one in. And once you guys have spawned one in, if you hit O, you should be able to see that we now have a Luxart vehicle control system. And you guys can see in the top right hand corner of my screen, which will probably be in the bottom left hand corner for you guys since I have moved it is our new Luxart control panel and it looks exactly like a real life control panel which is really really cool and it's something you don't get in normal ELS. Through the settings you can change so many things obviously also move your HUD and you can change the different sirens that play and the different cycles that they go through you can also toggle siren park kill it's basically just the best of both worlds you don't have to install any plugins in order to get half the things that you would have had to install plugins for in ELS on LSPDFR. So if you guys did find this video useful, if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the channel sponsor, Zappokesting, down in the description below. And use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces, for 20% off your next product with them. That is Highway Trooper, no capitals and spaces. And with Zappokesting, you can get some great deals on 5M servers and VPSs and Minecraft servers if you guys really wanted to. Check them out down in the description below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.